We are in beautiful Cancun, Mexico at the third con 13th Conference of the Parties of the Convention on Biological Diversity and I'm one of the scientists who participated in the delegation this year. I participated in a session entitled Improving the Evidence Base on the Effectiveness of Forest Conservation and Rural Livelihood Initiatives in Terms of Delivering Social and Ecological Benefits. And basically my contribution to that session was our global comparative study on RED and the impact evaluation that we undertook as part of that study. For CIFOR's Global Comparative Study on RED on subnational initiatives, we used a before-after control intervention approach, also known as BAKI. And it's really a quasi-experimental approach to trying to understand what, what, if any, impacts did, did RED have on the ground. And we collected data at two points in time, in about 2010, using village and women's focus groups as well as household surveys, along with biophysical data collected through remote sensing. And then we went back four years later in 2014 to see what had happened, collecting the same kind of data with the same households in the same villages in six countries um, across the tropics. Starting first with the impacts of red on forests. So far, our analysis has showed that there was minimal impact in terms of reducing tree forest loss at these sites. Um, but interestingly, the performance results appear worse if you don't use the controls. And so that actually higher, highlights the importance of the Baki approach and actually having a counterfactual of what would have happened in the absence of red for understanding what you find. In terms of the red impacts on people, so far there's no evidence of, of negative impacts on either income or perceived well-being, but also there's no evidence for co-benefits, so, so really no change in income, at least in the short period of time that, that the red interventions were, were being implemented. Um, there's little advancement on tenure, which is actually interesting because tenure has been a major focus for the, the implementers of these initiatives. We, preliminary findings are, are highlighting there's, there's actually some discrepancies in terms of women's participation in, in RED with, with women participating less in the decision to implement RED as well as the actual design and implementation of these initiatives. Um, and then finally, interestingly, when you look at the specific kinds of interventions, you know, sort of incentives versus more regulatory measures, we're actually finding that when households are exposed to a mix of interventions that include incentives, their perceptions of well-being are, are actually more positive than, than regulations alone.